Now that we know how to create the virtual forms, I will show you how you can interact with this form. We will create a custom button that will do some action when we select a record and click on this button. To do so, let's go into the virtual form designer. Now that we are in the virtual form designer, let's go and create a new button group. Here are some predefined button groups. I will create a new. Click on new. Let's name it products form products form button buttons group. Okay. Now we will go into the details for this buttons group and we will assign to this buttons group some buttons, predefined buttons. We will uh, select the fresh, refresh, okay, let's add a new one. We will add also the add new button. Let's add also a edit button. Let's add also a button for deleting a record. Okay. Let's add also a filter button. And also a exit button. I will also add the buttons for details and also a button for back. You don't need to worry about this uh, details and back button. If the virtual form control recognizes that we have some relationships in our form, it will show these two buttons, and if not, it will hide them. Now, we will add a new button, and we will create a new button with a custom function. Let's add a new button. Let's display on this button get get record function we will we will call this function let's say fn custom button okay pr one let's name it so causes validation let's say yes shortcut key nothing and color you leave it blank and let's add this get record button to our button group now let's go and get back and let's assign this products form buttons group to our form these buttons groups or this uh, form will have this buttons group, products form button group. Let's save it. Okay. No, we don't need any fields for grid and edit control. Let's exit. And now let's reopen our products form. As you can see, here we have our newly created buttons group with these buttons. If I click this get record, nothing happens. So in our code we need to tell the VBA what we want, what action we want when we click this button get record. To do so, let's go into the code, right click on the main menu, view code, and we will go into the VF1 control. We will find the event that corresponds to this uh, button click. The event that this will trigger is the command button click event. And here in this event, when we will have a few buttons, we need to identify when uh, 
this button is clicked. This is why we have assigned a function name to our button. To do so, we will test what is uh, virtual phone control sending us in this property command button function name. So we will test it. If something that is in this uh, property is equal to something, then do this. And if. And we need to get the command button function name here. To do so, we will go again into our into our uh, virtual form designer products. Let's go into this buttons group. Let's go into the details and go to this get record. Get record. This is the function that we want. Let's copy this. You can name it whatever you want. Okay, let's exit this all. Exit. Exit the virtual form designer. And let's go again into our code. And here between these double quotes, let's paste the function name. So every time this event will fire, it will check if in this command button function name we have this function name, it will run the code that is between this if and and if statement. And what we want to do, let's add a new variable into uh, this code. dim str text1 as string. And now we will copy and we will use this variable to get what is uh, in a text box in our virtual form. To do so, we need to tell the virtual form one that we want from, uh, from it the text box. And we will need to provide the virtual form name, also the field name and the table name. And we want the text property of this text box. So, as I have mentioned, we need virtual form name, field name and table name. To get uh, the virtual form name, field name and table name, let's go again into our virtual form designer. Into the products and into the edit control. I want the product ID. So I will copy this field name. Copy. Let's go into the code. And here I will pause it so that I can add it here. Between the double quotes, I have pasted in the field name. Oh, okay. We also need the virtual form name. The virtual form name is virtual form name is VF3. Okay, first parameter we need the virtual form name. This is the VF VF3 field name and we also need the table name and the table name is this copy this and go into the code and pa paste this between the double quotes now we have in this variable str text text one we have what is selected in this text box and I would like to put this uh, value from this variable into my workbook. Let's say sheets 
my sheet name is sheet one sheet one oh, oops we need this between the double quotes and we will go to the range range a one dot value is equal to str text one okay let's go and test this now we don't need this anymore virtual form designer we will go into the we will start our application go to the products let's select this id 9 and click on this get record let's see if we now have and here it is we have put the value of the product id into our worksheet sheet 1 into cell a one 